Hey everybody, Marshall again. Uh, I tried recording this earlier, but I had a dog barking situation, so yeah, I had to start over. I just wanted to do a video, and I hope it's not too rambly, um, sort of a response to the comments I've been getting from some people on my videos. Uh, some of them are critical of the way I present myself, seeming that I have no problem expressing myself and that sort of thing. I don't think that these people really understand what YouTube is, um, and this is pretty smarky, snarky of me, but I'm only showing you the smallest sliver of my life and experience. This is all planned out, you know, not necessarily well. I mean, I hate having not shaven. I feel grody and gross and uncomfortable, but it's very hard for me to get all those elements to line up the way I want to, so here I am doing a video um, in this state, but, you know, it's either do this or it doesn't get done for another week or so. The point is that um, I guess I need you to take my word for it that I have trouble as a disabled person, that I have they know that my autism is a problem for me in life beyond the couple minutes a week that you see me on YouTube. Um, people don't generally have this problem when they think of uh, an actor on a TV show. I mean, you know, that person's there for 22 minutes and then they're gone. Um, you don't demand that they be that character 24-7 and that they, you know, release new content whenever you want. Um, in that character because they know that they're actors and they're not really that way. I mean, I, okay, you know, admittedly sometimes lines get a little blurred there with uh, performance and all that, but that leads me to my next point. Autistic people, it's a pretty common trait, um, prefer to communicate in situations that they understand, in formats that they know are going to be reliable that they can uh, reliably go back to them and interact with them in a certain sort of way. And for me, as a writer and a creator, uh, my writing is one of those ways I get to do that. I get to control the way something is presented. I get to control and craft uh, what sort of images are going to be in somebody's mind. And in a sense, uh, speaking on panels and speaking on YouTube videos is the same way. I get to prepare what I want to say, I get to think about what my audience is, I get a lot of time to prepare and go over it in my head. It's really nice, and I can do it for just a few minutes at a time, and then go on with my life. Um, it's very hard for me to keep that going for eight hours a day at work, and then you know, add in social and other business activities afterwards and um, activism at, uh, opportunities and all that. And any day could be a bad day all of a sudden and kind of throw everything off track and set me way back. But that's the way it is. And if I need to communicate with somebody, um, I'm, I know that there are some environments I'm going to be able to do it well, and some not at all. <laughs> my workplace is very noisy, for one, and noise interferes with my ability to understand what's being said and to communicate effectively. I'm generally pretty soft-spoken because, like, the loudness of my own voice bothers me a lot of the time. Sounds weird, but it's true. Um, so yeah, I just know that in that environment, I'm going to have trouble, I'm going to struggle, and a lot of things are going to get miscommunicated. I might seem more grumpy or angry or perturbable than I mean to be, or even that I feel that I am, or that the other person deserves. You know, they deserve much better than me uh, being grumpy at them, and I go out of my way to apologize. Um, but if I seem really, really, really capable or whatever, in this YouTube environment, it's because it's planned that way. You know, I have an idea of what I want to do, what I want to say, what I want to get across. I know what kind of environment I want to film in. I have all that in mind, and I tend to rehearse it for 
you know, sometimes days uh, in my head and think about how to deliver that message uh, in the context of this format. So, yeah, that's what I do. That's, that's just, that's anybody preparing any piece of media and that's um, one way that autistic people can excel if they find a, a method that works for them. It's going to be different for everybody, but this tends to work for me uh, in general. So anyway, yeah, if I seem really uh, competent and confident, that's because this is all planned. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this. I hope this is helpful. I would like to talk more about disability stuff in the future, but I'm just going to keep rambling if I keep going. So have a good night, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.